In this video, we will show you how to get started with the Trust Zone based microchips PIC32 CMLS60 and PIC32 CMLS00 Curiosity Pro Evaluation Kits using MP Lab Code Configurator, also known as MCC. Clone the following MP Lab Harmony V3 repositories and install the software shown below. If you are new to MCC, be sure to watch these videos. The Trust Zone based PIC32 CMLX family of microcontrollers comes in two options PIC32 CMLS60 and LS00. In this video, we demonstrate the Trust Zone based security on PIC32 CMLS60 and LS00 using two projects. Project 1 Trust Zone based project on PIC32 CMLS60 Curiosity Pro Evaluation Kit. This project is based on PIC32 CMLS60 and uses an ARM Cortex M23 based PIC32 CMLS60 MCU. Project 2, Trust Zone based project on PIC32 CMLS00 Curiosity Pro Evaluation Kit. This project is based on PIC32 CMLS00 and uses an ARM Cortex M23 based PIC32 CMLS00 MCU. Both these kits have an onboard EDBG debugger. For more information, do watch these kit videos or visit the kit page. We also use a micro USB cable and an IO1 Explained Pro extension kit to test the extended functionality to read and print the current room temperature periodically. Our goal in this video is to show how a Trust Zone based application is developed on PIC32 CMLS60 and LS00 Curiosity Pro Evaluation Kits. The demo toggles an LED on a timeout basis, and print the LED toggling rate on the serial terminal. Also, the demo has extended functionality to read, and print the current room temperature using the IO Unexplained Pro Extension Kit. To achieve this, we will, show you the application development overview, set up the hardware, download the demo project from the kit page, Open the project, and launch MCC, check the peripheral configurations in MCC, review the application code, and then, compile the project, and see the output. Let us now look at how a Trust Zone based application is developed. A Trust Zone application has two projects pertaining to secure and non-secure modes of PIC32 CMLS60 or LS00 that work together on the same MCU, and offers security isolation between the trusted and the non-trusted resources in the device. The application can be developed in two ways. Single Developer In this case, the single developer develops both secure and non-secure applications. In this video, both projects demonstrate a single developer use case. Dual Developer Secure and non-secure applications are developed by two developers. Refer to the following tech brief for more details on the dual developer application development use case. The application includes basic and extended functionality. Let's see how the basic application is implemented. The secure mode application toggles an LED, LED0 toggles when the switch SW0 is pressed on a timeout basis and the periodicity of the timeout will change from 500 milliseconds to 1 second, 2 seconds, 4 seconds, and back to 500 milliseconds every time you press the switch SW0 on the board. The non-secure application requests the secure mode application to read the LED toggling rate and prints on the serial terminal. The LED toggling rate data is transferred to the non-secure mode application when it requests to secure application through non-secure callables. Now, let's see how the extended functionality is implemented. The secure mode application reads the current room temperature from the temperature sensor on the IO-1 Splained Pro Extension Kit every 500 milliseconds. Further, the application writes the temperature readings to EEPROM and reads when a request is received from the non-secure mode application. Also, a green LED0 is toggled every time the temperature display request is received from the non-secure mode application. The periodicity of the temperature values reading can be changed to 1 second, 2 seconds, 4 seconds, and back to 500 milliseconds whenever the user presses the switch SW0 on the board. 
the temperature readings are transferred to the non-secure mode application when it requests to secure application through non-secure callables. The non-secure mode application requests the secure mode application the temperature values, and prints them on a serial console once it receives from the secure mode application. Further, when it gets a request from the user, in the form of a key press on the serial console, it will request the secure mode application to retrieve the last five stored temperature values in the EEPROM. The non-secure application prints the last five stored temperature values on the console. Also, a red LED one is toggled every time the temperature values are read from EEPROM. Let's set up the PIC32 CM LS60 and LS00 hardwares. Perform the setup as shown to test basic or extended functionality. Let us get started developing the application on the PIC32 CM LS60 Curiosity Pro Evaluation Kit, open the web page for this evaluation kit, and download the zip file for the Getting Started Demo project, which includes the demo firmware. First, extract the demo firmware, and open the project group in MPLAB X IDE. Set the downloaded project as a main project. Go to Tools, Embedded, and open MCC, which will open the project graph. Here you can see the various peripherals that have been configured for the PIC32CM LS60 MCU secure and non-secure projects. Click on the plugins drop-down menu and select ARM Trust Zone for ARM V8M to check the Trust Zone configurations. Click on the memory configurations to check the secure and non-secure memory configurations of the flash, data flash, and SRAM. Here the green color indicates the secure, and red for the non-secure configuration. Click on Peripheral Configurations to know which peripherals are configured as secure and non-secure. Here you can notice that the CIRCOM 3, DMAC, and DSU are configured as non-secure peripherals and the rest are default secure peripherals. Also, notice the mixed secure peripheral and system resource configurations. Now go back to the project graph and click on a peripheral block to see how that peripheral has been configured. For example, if you click on CIRCOM 3, you will see that it has been configured as a USART to print the LED toggling rate and the temperature values. If you want to configure other system-specific peripherals, use the drop-down menu under Plugins, and choose the system module you would like to configure. For example, select the Pin Configuration option, and in the Pin Settings tab, notice the Security Mode column which tells whether the pin is configured as secure or non-secure. You can see that Pin PC20's function has been configured as Secure External Interrupt EIC underscore EXTNT12 for Switch SW0, and Pin PC19's function has been configured as Secure GPIO to toggle green user LED0. Also, configure the GPIO pin security mode for CIRCOM3 as non-secure and secure for CIRCOM5. To configure the clock, click the drop-down menu under Plugin and select Clock Configuration. Here you will see the main clock is set to the default clock frequency of 48 MHz. You can use MCC to add another peripheral, reconfigure the project, and generate the code. You can go to the project configuration path at any time, and check the various files to understand how the project was implemented. The basic application demonstrates an LED toggle on a timeout basis and prints the toggling rate on the serial terminal. This code uses the UART to periodically send the strings. The periodic timeout can be changed by pressing switch 0. The extended application prints the current room temperature periodically when an IO1 Explained Pro Extension Kit is plugged into the EXT1 extension header. Under the Project Properties in MPLAB XIDE, select the Target Kit in the Connected Hardware Tool drop-down. Then click OK. Open a terminal application, such as TerraTerm on your PC and, set up the serial port. You can now use MPLAB XIDE to build your project, and program the board. Here, you can see the LED's toggling rate periodically displayed on the console. The periodicity of the timeout will change from 500 milliseconds to 1 second, 2 seconds, for seconds, and back to 500 milliseconds every time you press the switch SW0 on the board.
To test the extended functionality, plug the IO1 Explained Pro Extension Kit into the EXT1 extension header and press Switch 1. MPLAB Discover is a catalog of fully configured and complete source code projects where you can find more application demos for the PIC32 CMLS60 and PIC32 CMLS00 Curiosity Pro Evaluation Kit or our other development boards or kits. Also, please visit microchip.com harmony to learn more about MPLAB Harmony version 3 features, benefits, and other information. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration. Thanks for watching.